Hey, what's happening? My name is Aaron Berkman. I play in the band Caspian, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a new track of ours called Sad Heart of Mine. It's off of our new record, which will be dropping in just a few short weeks here, Dust and Disquiet. We're all very excited about that. i um, just going to show you a little bit of uh, you know some of my parts for this, and maybe just a little bit of what went into my creative process um, and how I arrived there and just show you a little bit of tone and we'll just go from there. So maybe just to get started, I'm just gonna just go over the sounds that I have. Um, I'm playing out on my Fender Twin um, through my pedal board here and really for this this tone I'm gonna be using right now, I'm only using two pedals. Um, one is my Cathedral uh, Reverb and the other is my Giga Delay, the DD20 by, made by Boss. Um, if you listen here, you've got a nice dry sound. The reverb, I'm just using a room tone, and it just adds a little bit of warmth and some color. It gives it some space. And for the delay, I am using just a nice short one here. I'll cut the reverb off for a second. Nice short delay. So the effects level is up rather high with the feedback down quite a bit. And um, there's an option to, to actually affect the tone of the delays. So I've got that dialed back just a little bit as well. Just to take a little bit of a uh, edge off of the delay so it's not too messy. Um, and that gives us the sound. Cool. So uh, this part, um, Actually, I want to just play this for you real quick. This is uh, the main sort of like riff of the song. It's actually played on a keyboard, but I just have it looped here on my guitar, just for the simplicity of this demonstration. Cool, so that's the main sound. And we're gonna be, well, where I fret that is right here, uh, starting on the 10th fret. A nice little sweep like this. And what's actually interesting is the rhythm, it actually comes in after the downbeat. So it's one, and then we're bouncing back to that F, C, F, G, F. So, and then for the last note, we're going up to this A. So the whole thing is. You know, when, when we set out to actually write this piece, Phil had this piano part, and then we pretty much all found our own little way through the song, and as I was trying to figure out what I would do, I, I really liked the melody, so I just grabbed that, pretty much the melody exactly as it was, and found a place to play it on my guitar. And uh, just conceptually, I was kind of going for something that was, wanted to sound sort of like a piano. So it's got like, Kind of a nice, soft sound, pretty sweet attack. Anyways, so that's that. Um, so that's just the main, the main little riff. This is going on and on and on. Um, and then basically my part, just sort of, I came up with a couple of different variations. So I think the first thing that I should show you is um, there's an actual melody that comes in, which is this. take the delay off. So that's C, F, C, A. We're in, moving into a different position here on the, on the guitar. We're over in fifth position. So basically I'm barring the fifth fret with my first finger and then playing, you know, the high C with my pinky and the F with my second finger. So these notes get shifted from there. So up here, they're right here at the tenth fret on the um, third and fourth string. And over here, they're at the 5th and 6th fret on the 3rd and 2nd string. So this counter kind of melody starts with the same, starts with the same notes, but then it's the 3rd pitch and the notes after that to actually change that give it this melodic contour. So we have, so it's C, F, C, A, C, F, C, F, C, F, C, A, C, F, G, 
And that's where it sort of ties back in. So we play it with the delay we have. Right, so there's that whole section. And then pretty much what I did is you can play this in this region, but you can also take the same thing and move it all the way up an octave. And we have this high melody now. So it's the same, same exact notes, just playing them up, up an octave, so it's here. And um, I think sort of, you know, the interesting thing about this riff is that, um, at least my philosophy was it, with it was to, um, I wanted, uh, you know, the, per, the melody to progress and sort of change and evolve as the song continued. Um, so, I just kept the same rhythm, and just kind of messed around with the notes. Instead of starting on this C in this octave, I went up the octave to this C. So we're, um, let's see, 13th fret on the second string, it's a C. Um, so I, I began there, and then since uh, I'm starting higher, um, I descended instead of, this is a rising figure. Over here, I did a descending figure, so. so it drops back down and kind of meets in the middle. So this is C, F, C, A, C, F, C, G, C, F, C, A, E, F, B flat, A, so that's my whole melody through there, so it sounds like this. So that was, uh, that's like basically the middle portion of my sequence. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kick this loop on, I'm gonna play my parts, and then um, I'm gonna play through this whole little sequence here. And there's actually one other little thing I wanna add. Um, there is one small note that I changed in the middle of this one repetition. So we have this, I'm just gonna take the layout for one second, C, F, G, F, and so, in the middle of like the second one of these, instead of going C, F, G, F, I go C, F, E, F. So it just creates a very slight, subtle variation, but I think you'll hear it now. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna let that play and I'll play along with it and then kind of go through th this uh, set of parts that I just showed you. So uh, that's not the whole song, but that should give you um, a pretty good idea of at least one little part of what's happening. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little bit. And uh, yeah, hope to see you sometime soon. So take care and uh, keep on rocking. Later. Mm -hmm.